What if I told you that Bangalore's metro was started with just 6.7 km back in 2011 and now it is racing towards 256 km mega project that will transform how 1.5 crore people will travel every single day. Today we are diving into the incredible timeline of every single metro line that has opened, is opening, will open in India's Silicon Valley and trust me some of these sections can change. Bangalore's traffic conditions for real. Welcome to Aryan Explores. If you are in Bangalore or planning to move to Bangalore or just another urban enthusiast who is interested in India's growth story, then this video is your ultimate guide to understand how Bangalore's metro evolved from dream to reality. We will cover every opening date, every important station and I'll reveal upcoming lines that will transform the Bangalore city. So grab your filter coffee and you can also just hit that subscribe button and yes, let's jump into the metro journey. This is chapter 1, the beginning. October 20, 2011. This is when Bangalore got its first metro section from Bayapnali to MG Road. This section is just 6.7 km with 6 stations but this was important because Bayapnali was a heart of operations and it also housed depot of the purple line. Indranagar is a posh locality. MG Road is a shopping paradise. Back in 2011, you can come from Bipnali to MG Road within 15 minutes. It was mind blowing. Even now, it is mind blowing. Chapter 2 The Green Line. Fast forward to March 1st, 2014, Bangalore got two metro sections. First was Eshwantpur to Sampige Road. This connected important railway junction that is Eshwantpur Junction to central suburban areas that is Maleshwaram, Rajajinagar and all. And then the second section was from Eshwantpur to Pinya industry. Now people from central Bangalore can easily go to Pinya without getting stuck at Gurgunte Palya. Then in May 2015, Green Line got extended from Pinya industry to Nagasandra. Now people who are living in northern suburbs like Nagasandra, Jalhali and all can easily come to the central Bangalore within 30 minutes. So this was very used in 2015. Again, people are not getting stuck at Gurgante Palya. Chapter 3 Going Underground before going underground in November 2015, Purple Line's western extension from Magdi Road to Mysore Road elevated place got launched. In April 2016, they went underground. This was first underground sections in Bangalore, which connected from MG Road to Magdi Road. So the whole underground sections were connected, which included stations like Kabban Park, uh, Majestic, KSR Railway Station and all. And then this became the major interchange in Bangalore Metro. This also connects with State RTC, which is KSRTC bus and BMTC. So it will also connect with SBC that is KSR Bangalore. Chapter 4 Phase 1 was completed by June 18, 2017 by inaugurating Sampige Road to all the way to further down south till Elchina Halli. This also connected most important sections like Jayanagar, Manshankari and RV Road and all. So now we have a plus mark with north to south green line and east to west purple line and total metro length was 42.4 kilometers. Chapter 5 The Phase 2 Revolution 2021 marked the beginning of Phase 2. They went big. In Jan 15, 2021, they extended from Elchenali to Silk Institute, where my PU college is also there. You can just guess down in the comment section. And I was waiting for this metro section from 2018, but okay. In August 2021, Purple Line got extended from Mysore Road to Kengeri, and in March 2023, the really big one happened from KR Puram to Whitefield. This means IT companies finally got Metro and this changed the lives of IT professionals overnight. 
and in October 2023, more magic happens. The small connection between uh, Kyarpuram to Bayapnali uh, with one station in between that is Beniginahalli was connected and now this spans from Kengeri to Whitefield. Wow! The purple line now spans 43.49 km and this purple line also got extended in the Kengeri side from Kengeri to Chalgatta that is like last station in the purple line. The green line extended furthermore north with three stations from Nagasandra to Madhavara and this is important because this connected with BIEC, Bangalore's massive exhibition center and now north-south corridor along with east-west corridor green line and purple line is completely up and running. And in August 2025, Hello9 opens RV Road to Bomasandra via Silk Board and Electronic City. Now, every techie got their dream completed with a metro line. Now, they are not getting stuck at Silk Board Junction. So as of 2025, we have fully completed Green Line, Purple Line and Yellow Line. Now, Bangalore has 96.1 km of metro. Chapter 6 The Game Changing Stations Whitefield People who thought Whitefield is out of city now start considering this inside the city. It was also very important to IT sector obviously and electronic city. People now don't want to get stuck at all levels of flyovers and it also hosts Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Cognizant and HCL companies and Kyarpuram. Kyarpuram is a major, very major interchange including suburban, metro and metro with purple and blue line. Then Majestic obviously because this has railway station, bus stands and metro station with purple and green line interchange. Chapter 7 The future is coming. How soon? God knows. Now all of us are happy because yellow line just got launched and yes, it connected major IT corridors like Electronic City, Bomasandra and Silk Board and another important line that is important for IT corridors like IT companies are mostly around Outer Ring Road. So the blue line that is starting from Silk Board to Kyarapuram and then extended to Airport would be very very important for Bangalore. And these are some speculations from from the news media which is obviously you cannot expect that is by 2026 from Silk Board to Kyarpuram metro section would be open <laughs> no way bro and in 2027 from Kyarpuram to airport I don't think so this will happen very soon I guess the from Silk Board to Kyarpuram this will inaugurate in 2027 and maybe around 28 or 29 airport metro section would be opened after that like after four years five years down the line there would be no three hours traffic jams getting stuck at Hebal and you can also reach your home before your friend reaches Hyderabad, Delhi or Mumbai. Another important line is pink line that goes through the center of the city from Kempapura to Kalina Grahara. This line is very special because it connects areas where roads are actually not that wide for bus to serve properly like uh, Shivajinagar, MG Road. Uh, it also connects IIMB and all. Yes, this is very important. Uh, this section is mostly underground, north and south part being elevated. They say this will be inaugurated by 2026. I don't think so. This will be inaugurated by 2028. Coming to Chapter 8, Early Planning and Beyond 2028 Phase 3 was approved in 2024 from Orange Line that is westward extension of uh, Green Line that will start from JP Nagar Fort connecting with Green Line at Banshankari and then Purple Line at Posahali and connecting Sunkat Katte and all and it will reach to Hebal. This will connect the Western Outer Ring Road and another one section is from Osarli to Kadabagere. This is also a very small section and very important because it will connect the Kadabagere place. If everything goes right, Bangalore would be having around 256 km of metro in 2032. And yeah, another important that is red line from Hebal to Sarjapur. This will uh, go parallel with pink line and then connect with purple line. This will connect from Hebal to the Sarjapur road. So by 2032, if everything goes all right, Bangalore would be having 256 km of metro and from six 
6.7 km back in 2011 to 256 km in 2032 or keep it 2035 Conclusion Bangalore Metro isn't just about trains it is about transporting lives it's about a city that refused traffic define its future sorry guys i take back this chat gpt script sorry and yes whether you are a student in kengeri or techie in whitefield or any outer ring road or if you are business owner then this metro is our story namma metro vina namma kate which metro line are you most excited about comment below and if this video helped you to understand bangalore metro better subscribe for more insights thanks for watching yen sir city purti halla todi smashana madak kutidare adu yakona pona kaane ಏನು ಈ ಜನಾಂಗಕ್ಕೋ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜನಾಂಗಕ್ಕೋ ರಸ್ತೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಸ್ ಅಂತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ರೈಲ್ ಅಂತೆ ರೈಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೊಲಿಕೆ ಅಪ್ಪಂತೆ ರೈಲು ಮನೆ ಒಳಿಕೆ ಬತ್ತಂತಪ್ಪ ಏನ ತಕಂಡ್ ಸೀದಾ ಸ್ಮಶಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ರೈಲಲ್ಲಿ ಹಂಗ ಆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಈ ಸಿಟ